It hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year, Sarah. Your job's a joke, you're broke, your love life is DOA, Sarah. Stopped calling me Sarah, and that's that's not the theme song to the... <sighs> Ripley, just start the show. <laughs> Morning, everybody, when the rain starts to fall. Morning, everybody, like I've been there before. Do, 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 fountain. And morning, everybody. My name is Curtis, and uh, here we go again. Uh, I got rid of Major Penguin because uh, he just, he just doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. I know. I don't stop. But sometimes somebody doesn't. No, no. What? No. Uh, yeah. No. Morning, Ripley. Uh, what's up? No. What? No, no that's no. not. No. Okay. No. All right. Hey, first topic. Uh, is no, don't write that. It's not. We're not stalking celebrities. All right, we're not stalking famous people. We're not. I'm not doing any of those things. All right, change change that to anything else. Okay, something reasonable. Yeah. Um, now we live in the magical world uh, of the internet, where if say you do some fan art uh, of a person or their thing or whatever. Um, you know, in the in the old days, let's say, you would have to join a fan club specifically, uh, get some letters, maybe send some stuff to a place that never got to the celebrity that you thought it was going to, or, uh, you know, stalk them, hide in their bushes, go through their garbage, figure out where and when these people are going to be doing something, and then get them your weird little, like, look, I drew a picture of you, and uh, creep them out that way. Now, we live in the world where if... Uh, I don't know, let's say you do a little internet show and you have your cat sing a little Lisa Loeb song and then you put hashtag Lisa Loeb into the uh, description on your Instagram. Lisa Loeb, the actual person, is like, click, I like that. What do you mean you like that? You're one of these famous people. All right, whatever. That was pretty crazy, but that reminded me that, hey, why not just draw a picture of Lisa Loeb? Her Instagram is pretty fun, so grab a picture of her going to At Midnight or something or being on Teacher's and just do a, a quick marker sketch uh, like that, and then post it. And then this time I put, you know, hey, here's a drawing of at Lisa Loeb instead of hashtagging it, because, uh, like I said, we're in the world now where not only can you just do a drawing of somebody, you can kind of put their uh, whatever it is, amorphous internet address right on it, just by writing their name a lot of the time, and then there it is. And then it's like, oh, well, now I kind of feel like this is, this is like too, I feel like I'm stalking this famous person in a little bit of a way. Uh, that's, that's weird. Anyway, let's move on. But then I'm like, oh, what? No, that's not. Uh, the other, Ripley, okay, no. Nobody, all right, here's the deal. Everybody, like everybody has a crush on Lisa Loeb, Ripley. Everybody. One, you do, or don't tell me that you don't. And that's just how it works. You either don't know who Lisa Loeb is, or you have a crush on Lisa Loeb. Those are your only options, right? Uh, I know that I am. Hey, Carrie, you're out there and watching land using your eyes and your ears. Uh, do you not have... Wait, it's Carrie's... No, Carrie's my last name. Carrie's her first name. Uh, you throw it in the comments. Uh, I know that you like to uh, tell me... Tell me that you don't have a crush on Lisa Loeb. It's not possible. It's not possible. I think we're around the same age, so... Uh, I think we're in the demographic where it's just not possible to not, or, or you're like, I don't know who that is. Those are your only options. Those are your only options. This is the Carrie cam now. Hi, Carrie. So there you go, Ripley. What, you want more proof? Fine. Uh, though I know I should be wary. Still, I venture someplace scary. Uh, ghostly hauntings, I turn loose. Little Sam, little Sam, little Sam. Hey, little Sam. Yeah, don't be confused. I, I, I have certain uh, powers over your domain. Um... Just a quick question, uh, crush on Lisa Loeb, yes or no? Rest my case, Ripley? Rest my case? Shall I rest my case? No. Case rested. Uh, so speaking of uh, hunting down celebrities, there was like where this all, I want to say, started or realized it's a thing was just drawing some TV shows as I do sometimes. You're watching TV, I'm going to draw these characters. And you forget that, oh, this is also a person in the world, not just a character on the TV, a character on uh, Those Who Can't, another show about uh, horrible teachers. Uh, I, was, I drew a picture of that character, not even really thinking. And then I just hashtagged that, uh, Those Who Can't, and Instagram, no big deal, whatever. 
and then kept going and started drawing Rory, Scoville, eh, but before I post that one, like, hey, this... The only person that liked this other picture was this Ben Roy guy. Who's that? Oh, this... That's the guy. That's the guy from the drawing, I can tell, because he's got the same face. Um, hmm. Now I live in a world where if I draw somebody, they they may or may not see it. And I don't know, sometimes the things you do are deemed defensive and you don't realize until after you do them. Uh, for example, Jack Nicholson, Jack Nicholson, thinking like, this guy has some awesome lines in his face. And a few times I'm like, I'm going to go draw some, some Jack Nicholson because, I mean, he's awesome, right? Like, he's awesome. But I also, somewhere in the back of my head, get the thing that says, hey, hey, it's me, Jiminy, don't do that crooked. Don't do that. Why? Because he's terrifying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he might see it. And then I have to deal with the fact that he's terrifying. Whether he clicks like or not, or finds some way to use his own Jack Nicholson hate button, uh, it's a world I don't want to be a part of. It's just, that's just how it goes. Again, speaking of Jack Nicholson, I uh, rewatched The Shining for some reason, I don't know, very recently, and realizing that two things happened in my head. One, the scariest part that I've always thought is the scariest part in that movie is the drive to the hotel at the beginning like when jack torrance is at his happiest supposedly like he's got a dream job where he's going to get paid to work on his book all he has to do is check the boiler really and make sure the place doesn't explode that's it like your whole job is don't let the place explode odds of it exploding are very minimal to rare uh, as long as you you flick the right button every once in a while and do whatever you're supposed to do which kind of barely even comes up in that movie no big deal doesn't matter the point is when he's at his happiest that he could be in the whole movie, that's when I'm the most terrified because, oh, look at that guy driving his family. He's clearly about to murder them. I don't even think they're making it to the house. In my head, I think they're only going to be dropped off onto the side of the road and left for dead, or everybody get out of the car, I'm murdering you in the woods here, and or driving over you with the car, and then I'm going to my dream job because I am a maniac. And again, I'm not saying that Jack Nicholson is ugly, not by any means. He does have a face that says to me, if there's a murder or a major crime in a town, um, Jack Nicholson's face says that he is suspect number one. That's just what his face says. That's just what his face says. Uh, so the other thing that flashes through me, and again, I've heard a few stories that are like a little bit, a little bit incredibly creepy uh, that may or may not be true about things that the real Jack Nicholson has done in his real life. And I'd rather just believe nobody uh, as a human being would do those things, especially not uh, the Joker. Anyway, Ripley, that's my thing about the, hey, has that, has that Fanta Cam been here since last week? Yeah. Hey, hi. I can't. Is it? Is it sad? Is it happy? Is it angry? Does it? Does it have a mouth? Does it? Do you have a mouth? You're not gonna. It's just. It's very unnerving. You're very unnerving. It, I mean, Fanta knows that it's not sponsoring me yet, right now, right? Like, yeah. you're not a sponsor. You're just. You're just a can that doesn't want to go away. Not that I don't love you. I appreciate that you're here. If you do. anyway, let's uh, let's watch a Batman cartoon. Just, uh, cut to that, Ripley, and then we'll be we'll be right back. <laughs> and we're back. And I uh, forgot the little Sam was still here, so I mean, might as well. She was probably in the middle of something, weren't you? Yeah, I don't care. Uh, little Sam, little Sam, little Sam. <laughs> And as in most things in life, Beetlejuice rules uh, do apply. All right, and that's uh, another wonderful adventure in uh, stalking famous people. But we're not. We're not. Stop writing it across the bottom of the screen. We're just appreciating uh, people that we've appreciated for many years with artwork sometimes, and that's okay. And sometimes we end up making fun of Jack Nicholson in the process. But again, that's that's fine. That's fine. He has a sense of humor. Most people do. I was going to say everybody does, but everybody does not have a sense of humor. Uh, be good. Be careful, and don't forget to go to the website, monstersthingsgrownups.com, slash morning everybody. Uh, you can commission artwork, whatever you want. I'll draw it for money. Uh, also, there's other things that are specifically, this is how I draw it. Also, give me your money. Either way, uh, I make things for your money. But uh, actually, the painting, as always, means I gotta go check on the hedge maze. So, uh, see you. See you later. Morning at Rim.
everybody when the rain starts to fall. Morning, everybody, like I've been there before. Do 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 fountain.